Hello everybody, today we're playing I Expect You to Die 2. I know this van isn't as luxurious as your old office, but we can't let Zaraxxus know you survived your last mission. You've got a knack for putting a wrench in Dr. Zor's plans, so Zaraxxus employees may not react kindly if they recognize you. On the bright side, now you've got a mini-fridge. As usual, Zoraxis Corporation is up to something vile and nefarious, but we haven't been able to figure oh, out what. Stop. The Prime Minister is certainly making himself a target. Keep an ear to the radio agent. You never know what they might let slip. Now, your briefing materials should be arriving any second. Ah, here's that blasted courier. Aha! Speak of the devil. Take the cartridge from the tray on your right and load it gently into the cartridge viewer in front of you. John Juniper. John Juniper. Prince the proper thing. Protect at all costs. No. Okay, let's go. Wait, is that? Well. Now, our intel indicates the Prime Minister is attending an event in Manhattan tonight. My instincts say Zoraxis will try something there. And my instincts are only wrong about half the time. Yeah. Oh. And the event is hosted by Hollywood actor John Juniper. <laughs> oh, I'm such a fan. His performance in Marigolds of Forever was so... Uh, um, excuse me. Let's get you undercover so we can figure out what Zaraxxus is up to. Marigolds of Forever. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Four days ago. Four days till Christmas. I mean, okay, go. My instincts were right. This place is crawling with Zorax's operatives. Now you're all set up backstage. Maintain your cover as a stagehand until you can find and disable the threat. Attention, stage crew. Today is the big day. If anything goes wrong with my play, well, remember what happened to that sound designer. Yeah, I'm losing. Raise the light. Oh, we're almost ready to go. Keep an eye on your cue light. I'll turn it on when we're ready for curtain up. Hold up. It says watch the show. But I don't really want to watch the show. Oh. this key thing then? Oh, yes. Okay. Spotlight! Don't draw attention to yourself, Agent. You're a stagehand, remember? That's John Juniper uh, in the flesh. Okay. Oh, Agent, I am. Uh, well, I'm sure you can handle things from here. Team. Subtlety has passed. Deploy the gas. Oh. Oh. This is not part of the show. Everybody run. <laughs> My mask. Zaraxxus employees, change of plan. <laughs> Find whoever did this. I want them. 
dead. I knew that voice was familiar. Agent, she's a Zoraxis operative, known as the Fabricator. That is not an idle threat. Stay alive until I can get an evac team to you. Nice! I got a lock on the agent! Lock the exit! I'm on it. I'm covering their left. Oh. I think that's the last of them. I lost sight of the Prime Minister in the chaos, but I think he made it out. Uh, no sign of a fabricator either. Well, let's debrief back in the van. <laughs> I like doing that. Ooh, shower bag. Well, you did it. The Prime Minister's safe, and I hope John Juniper got out too. Although. Well, something feels off. That stage manager, the fabricator, well, she's a nasty piece of work, but she doesn't usually take such a stage in Zorax's plans. Very strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, nom, 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 nom. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Stamp the people with the bottle. Bottle their kneecaps. That's what you do. Egypt, I've been listening to the radio. The Prime Minister completely hey. reversed his stance on Zoraxis. Do you think they got to him? Our team has been doing routine follow-ups with the cast and crew of the play. And, well, check your briefing. You're not going to believe this. Oh my god. John Juniper here. Oh! I'm so glad you called. Yes, I do have information on the attack, but is it safe for me to tell you over the phone? No, I can't. I left for Europe this morning. How about this? I've got an autonomous jet at JFK. If you send someone to the airport, they can come meet me. Yes. Let's go. Three days ago. Three days ago. Ooh. I don't like the chairs looking at me. It's not fair you're the only one who gets to meet John Juniper. I had no small part in thwarting the theater attack, you know. The head office really doesn't understand the complexities. Oh. Signal lost. Oh, were you on a different call? Sorry about that. Unregistered signals tend to cut out at these altitudes. I can keep you company till you get here, though. Let's see, I can have my man Gibson pick you up in four hours. In the meantime, I can see you're settling in. Please, make yourself comfortable. Why don't you order something to eat? This is my personal aircraft, and I like to keep it well stocked. Another one. Thanks for being cool. Yes, sir. No.
Better be. Agent, what's happening? Wait, you're, you're heading towards the Raxus airbase. I don't like the sound of that. Hmm, okay, I can help here. Uh, let's see. Reroute the plane to somewhere safe. Here. Yes, yes, I just got you clearance at the agency airport in Lisbon. You're welcome. Plan B, launch the missile. 
Missile threat incoming. Defense system online. System malfunction. Attempting reboot. Failure. Manual reset required. I've got an idea. Huh? Yes. Aha, yes. This plane's manual is in the agency database. <clears throat> okay. Whoa. Let me see. I didn't mean to that. Warning. Voltage uh, may cause instant death. Yes, yes, let's skip to the important part. On your I left, press down all breakers that have triangles in an upward position. That's a little obtuse. Why use symbols at all? Yes, exactly. You're two steps ahead of me. Remove both cards. Now snap one card into place next to a symbol with a circle thingy in the middle and no light next to it. Eh, you've got it. Next, locate the serial number on the panel above the memory cards. It just says here to set the slider to the number in the 11th digit. It doesn't say where the slider is, what the slider is, why the serial number reference at all. Ah, good. All right, place the last card next to the slot with a symbol that looks like a spider? Or possibly... Ah, yes. Perfect. Come on, Agent. You're trapped on a plane above the Atlantic Ocean. There's nowhere to run. Just die already. Never meet your heroes, Agent. Now, chin up. We're almost through this. Oh, eh? you've got it. Have you done this before, Agent? Set all the needles to green. <laughs> kind of like that alien we met with the Russians last summer. Oh, wait, uh, never mind. Never speak of that to anyone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, no. I can see the missile on my radar display. Agent, we need to hurry. There it is. Now, all of the needles should be set to black. That should be easy enough for you. Ah, good. Now, return to the memory card panel and push the slider to the number of breakers you press down in step one. What? Then, uh, these breakers. Yeah, you've got it. Quick. Yes, exactly. Flip the switches with symbols that look like, uh, oh, uh, top hats. Ah, yes, perfect. Defense system rebooting. Reset oh. success. Defensive flare malfunction. Missile impact imminent. To fire flares, manually slide open dispenser on left wing okay, while so safely like on the ground. Repeat, only slide open dispenser on left wing while safely on the ground. Good time. Oh, huh? Yeah. You must find a way to open the flare dispenser. Threat averted. Autopilot re-engaged. New destination. Lisbon. I almost died in the end of that. No! My drink. I guess this is the end of this episode. I'll see you. Bad next news, time. Agent. The South Atlantic Guys. Union's also joining Zoraxis. What's going on? We need to find out how Juniper's involved in all of this. Well, tune in and hear for yourself. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, like, subscribe, do all